one of my most memorable experiences at the theater was seeing Friday the 13th, 2009, when it premiered, and it's part of the reason why I believe the movie deserves more respect. The theater was packed, and I remember the buzz of excitement from what I assumed were new and old fans of the Friday the 13th franchise. The audience was completely engaged, gasping at the unexpected turn of events, laughing at the jokes, and reacting loudly to every kill. Unfortunately, the remake is looked down upon for a few of the very aspects that make the film great. Directed by Marcus Nispel, Pathfinder, 2003's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and written by Damian Shannon and Mark Swift, the 2009 reboot has the elements viewers have come to expect from the franchise, such as college-aged kids partying in the woods and Jason Voorhees taking them out one by one, raising the Friday the 13th kill count. However, the film subverts expectations with surprising twists, a character-driven plot, intentional humor that pays off, and a Jason who is at his scariest. 2009's Friday the 13th was different than the rest of the franchise. Audiences were introduced to a new Jason Voorhees and a killer opening sequence. Amanda Rigetti as Whitney Miller scared and chained up in Friday the 13th 2009. In my opinion, the original first two films are the strongest installments in the Friday the 13th franchise, while the sequels ahead of the 2009 movie range in quality. When the idea of a Friday the 13th remake came around, instead of copying the same tone that carried on throughout each follow-up, Nispel and his team of writers settled on bringing a different flavor of Jason Voorhees to the big screen. This included finding a way to intertwine horror and comedy, along with a new take on the hockey masked killer that helps the movie stand out. For me, one of the smartest ways Friday the 13th, 2009, pays homage to the original is by maintaining Jason's origin story and connection with his homicidal, vengeful mother. However, the movie doubles down on that relationship as it becomes a significant part of the story. Watching it for the first time, I was surprised by how the remake puts his grief and delusions centered on his dead mom front and center in clever ways that exemplify some of his actions. Instead of a seemingly mindless slasher, this Jason Voorhees is a more intelligent killer who sets traps and moves faster than the original.